Quilters, my name is Heidi Stagno. I am here to introduce to you today a fabulous new product that is out on the market. This is called the AccuStitch. The AccuStitch is a stitch regulation system that you can adapt right to your domestic quilting machine. Let me tell you a little bit about this product. It has been designed and manufactured by ABM International. ABM International also designs and builds the Innova Longarm Quilting Systems. The Innova Longarm Quilting System has the state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line, phenomenal digital stitch regulation system that normally is only available when you purchase a long-arm quilting system. So they have taken that same technology and those smart engineers have made it in a compact version and I'm going to show you how to take the components in that come in this little box attach it to your domestic machine and you're going to get those same quality stitches that you get from a high-end long arm quilting machine. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, let's take a look at everything that comes in your box, as well as I'm gonna give you a little explanation of how a stitch regulator works. So on a long arm quilting machine, there is a sensor that is attached to the wheel. So as we move the machine forward, backwards, side to side, and in a circular motion, that sensor then tells the motor, this is exactly how fast the machine is moving then the motor will adapt to the speed that the machine is moving, telling the needle bar, okay, I'm gonna go up and down this fast or this slow. So as the machine moves faster and slower, the signal responds appropriately, the motor then tells the needle bar what to do. So there's a little messaging that happens in there. So that's why ABM has the best technology because what they have done is they have been able to engineer technology to cut down on all of that communication and send an instant signal, still a signal, but what we have to do is we have to tell the machine how fast it needs to sew. On a long arm, the, like I said, the stitch regulator is attached to the wheel. Well, since we're not gonna be moving our sewing machine around, we're actually gonna be moving the fabric when we're doing uh, quilting on our domestic machine. Our built-in sensors are right here. So you will have this little plate system and that is going to get installed right here. And then as I install that, then as the fabric moves over those sensors, that's what's going to tell the motor how fast to stitch. This is basically the brains of the operation. So these two things will come attached. There's a cable there. Be very careful to make sure that this cable does not get pinched. Yes, that's a wire in there, and that's how the signal from the sensor gets sent to the brains, and then the brains tell the motor how fast to move. So this is our AccuStitch cruise control system right here. So you'll have that in your box. The other thing that you will have is this little cable right here. It's just a shorty little guy. This is going to get plugged into the machine where normally you would plug in your foot pedal. And then the other end is going to go right into the cruise control system. So that's gonna make sure that we're replacing the current foot pedal system and giving it a new foot pedal so that we read the signal correctly. We also have our USB cable and power supply, and we're gonna go ahead and get all of these components installed on the machine, and then we can start the fun stuff. We can begin to quilt. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through exactly where I'm at at the install at this point. So I have already uh, peeled off just the little paper back sticky and it's great. You just push this right onto the back of your machine right here. I have taken the short little plug and put it into the machine where the foot pedal would go and then I've plugged it in here to our cruise control brain. I have also went ahead and I have plugged in our power source to provide power to our AccuStitch cruise control, as well as I went ahead and plugged in uh, the foot pedal that we will be using uh, to bypass the foot pedal that comes with the sewing machine. 
I have a Juki, so if you have a Juki, there will be one small additional step. And I just wanna walk you through this because it might be a little bit intimidating, but you will receive this little part right here, and you're going to replace one of the parts on, on your machine with this one here. I removed the throat plate, and uh, so I took the screws out, and here's the little hinge part. This little unit right here is, um, it's just a little holder that holds everything together. Well, this little piece is going to get in the way of our little sensor. So in order to adapt the sensor and replace that and put that here, we need to go ahead and remove this little piece right here. And there's just a teeny tiny little screw and it actually took me longer to find this screwdriver, so I recommend if you have an eyeglass repair kit, um, that is what I'm using right here. And so you want to reuse that little teeny tiny screw. And let me go ahead and take out my little part that came with it. There's just this like little fish hook thing. There's a hole there, and you're going to find that the fish hook is gonna nestle right down in there. It's gonna sit flush and sit just like that. What that's going to do is it's gonna create a little cover for this little open slot end down here so that when we go ahead and, and put, this, put this piece back in there, it's gonna stay in place because it won't slide out. So let me go ahead and just screw that back in. I have a little magnetic screwdriver here, so that's been helpful. I think it's, this is probably the hardest part of the whole install. Everything else just boom, 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 goes right together. And there we go. So I have replaced that. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just because I found it a little easier to go ahead and put the throat plate back on the machine, then take my AccuStitch sensor and bring it in, slide it in first down on this end and then slip it underneath right there and there you have it. It just installs just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and replace my screws that are gonna hold that needle plate right there in position. I'm not going to uh, replace the little carriage right here or the little cover right there, that's not necessary. But while I have you at this angle, I wanna point out something really important. I'm going to guide, you see there's a little peel and stick right here and I haven't removed that yet. I'm going to guide this little sensor cable so that it actually sits underneath my machine. Um, I find that, and the reason why I wanna do this is so that as I have some quilt back here on this side, I don't want it to uh, bump the cable, I don't want it to interrupt the cable, I don't want it to pull on my cable, I wanna make sure that I am preserving the integrity of the line and the communication that's happening between the sensor and the motor. So that's just a little helpful hint. So I wouldn't recommend putting it so that it feeds along here, just in case your quilt gets hung up right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the install and we'll start our quilting. Here we go.
and there you have it. This is just beautiful. If you look at the stitches here, how they are just nice and even. I don't have any long stitches or really short stitches. And you might hear the motor speeding up and slowing down. So that might be something new to you and that's quite all right. Don't worry about that. What I like to do is I like to put some music on and put my earbuds in and listen to my music. That way I'm not focused on the motor and the sound of the motor increasing and decreasing as my hands are going faster and slower. Let me go ahead and show you a few more of my favorite designs. Look at those beautiful stitches, nice and even. And as I go around the larger areas, I can move a little faster and I don't have to worry about the stitches getting longer. And then as I work in the teeny tiny tight corners, I don't have to worry about those stitches getting shorter. And I can go nice and steady, nice and slow when I need to maneuver in between my designs accurately and that just gives me that flexibility and the freedom that I don't have to balance the foot pedal along with maneuvering the fabric.